know, like more of a secondary fragger behind MDK to kind of finish off, off the job if he, if he can't get it done on the entry. And they have like loads of fast pop flash setups to get out of these choke points really quickly to attack into their opponents. So their, C their T side is where I feel like they have a lot of edges because I think teams just are not used to what, like what the hell is going on. And we're going to see Envers start on the CT side here. A lot of nades on the CT side here, so only option to go for two killers. You have uh, Eric opening things up here for Titan. They would take down a single man. Smiths is gone. Eric going to get Kiyoshima as well as he goes to the repeat, but Envious uh, are able to hold on to middle and actually get. Uh, Kavi gets a couple kills on the players coming up from long. That's actually incredibly important. Now it's just as a one on two for MBK to go for, so much more doable. He has a 5 7 as well. No armor though, which is going to be the issue against two USPs. This is going to be tough. I think the accuracy of the USP is going to be much better as well at that range than the 5.7, so not much you can really do. And Titan will pick up the pistol. Yeah, two very crucial kills there from RPK. RPK has been playing really well recently. That's good to see. Do you think um, he's, he's uh, I mean, do you think he's caught up? Or yeah. he's still catching up? Yeah, absolutely. I think he's one of uh, Titan's strongest player at the moment, actually. Yeah, we've... Uh, well, we're going to see the force up actually before I make any other points. We have a quick push in here from Titan straight into the B1 side. Kenny is coming in from middle as well. No, a little uh, split there. Yoshima will be able to take him down, but the bomb will be planted here for Titan. And MBS will find a very difficult time actually pushing in here. There's still lots of grenades to provide delay left as well. So maybe they might just be thinking about going for exits in this situation. Keep those pistols and armor alive. And one of the points I was, was going to make is that. Um, Kenny S has not been posting the numbers post that AWP update um, that made AWPing you know, more difficult. And that was quite some time ago. Um, yeah, it so was in the beginning of April, so he should have like gotten the hang of it by now. And I think it really d it does attest to, to how good of an AWP a Guardian is, as we see uh, these guys save their pistol armor. And actually finding a Mac 10 as well seems so missed. Yeah, because I always respect the Guardian because he can do all the flashy frags. Like, he can do all the crazy stuff, but he tends only to do it in spots where it makes sense. Like, it's it's economically it makes sense, or he has the right support for it to make sense, or he can, you know, use a grenade in a way that makes the play a little bit safer, or it's a good time to take a risk. And yeah. otherwise, he doesn't do it, do it flashy if he doesn't need to. It's not like a JW repeat. Yeah. So we're going to have existence opening up things in long as we see the full eco coming in from MD. It's not expending anything in this round. We do see uh, the loss of the SMG that was picked up there for MBS in the previous round on the save. And so far things looking pretty hard for MBS in this round. And they really need a couple kills here to keep the economy honest for Titan. But it looks like they're not going to get all too lucky just yet. And RPK is searching for MBK and he will find this Yoshima left and he is about to die as well I should think. Unless he can, s it'd be nice if he could save the armor actually. That would yeah, be nice. I, I wonder how much money he has right now. Yeah, well he does have 2,300, so he's still in the green. And it's gonna be interesting to see how Envas will approach uh, those two now, since, as you talked about earlier, they have switched up their game style. Yeah, I mean, we s I think uh, one of the reasons that we see Shock's not orping any as much anymore and Happy's taken up uh, the dedicated orbital roles we see, he goes straight for the orb, is because uh, supposedly Shock's just wasn't feeling as comfortable with it lately, just not as consistent. And, uh, well, Happy's been doing a really good job. It used to be a, situa a situational orper, but in this instance, we see him taking mid challenges sometimes as well, depending on the situation. Uh, we'll see him go for that. And th he's actually really, really very good at it. I mean, uh, there's no doubt that Happy is one of the highest skilled players in the game, I think. There's definitely no doubt about that. And look at his Envas, his or sorry, Titan is already outside in mid. They must know how Envas is playing right now, because otherwise they would never dare to do that. Yes, it's a really fast timing, and indeed there is nobody who has gone to a CT spawn yet for Envious. The cat player is actually stuck up on the A bomb site playing the site itself. Shocks will find the first kill onto Kenny S, which is very important actually. They will smoke off B as well, the angles from B, and just quickly to uh, pick up the AWP. Uh, existence looking for another shot. So Titan getting lots of space at the moment on the map and forcing Envious to really hard engagements, but Shocks will take the better of that one. Just wrapping around the smoke there, going around the side, taking down existence, and now it is a 4 on 3 in favor of Envious as uh, the bomb is making its way towards the A bomb site finally. 
And time, well, they've, they've actually got 40 seconds left, so it'll be interesting to see if we can get a solid retake here from Envious, because they, they look like they're pretty well positioned to do that. They've got two players on long, um, just waiting for the other two teammates to get up uh, catwalk, and then they can make their way in. Yeah, it's weird that Envious is deciding to go to short. We'll get the, the, the opening, and there was no even no space frag even required. Yurik up on the side here, stuck in a really hard place as Kiyoshima sprints on up the ramp. In comes Apex though, he's got 23 HP, it's going to be very hard and indeed Kiyoshima with a superior angle and they will take the round, Envious. And now things uh, will start to get a little bit interesting as we see these buys, uh, or the economy start to be a little bit more comfortable for Envious. It was a great retake by Envious, it's uh, surprising, that, surprising that they went short because usually if you have two people on long, you want to do the like, we have long, so it's safe to go up see the spawn. If we go short, they can easily kill us short first, and then they can take care of us on long. But uh, yeah, it was just a solid retake there from Envious. Okay, so and, uh, they go on their standard CT play to Envious. The two three setup, which we see be the most common in the meta, and they're actually sticking two to long, so for a pretty prolonged timing. Now we finally see one player going back, and usually you would see that you know one of these uh, A players will start to drift down the CT in uh, preparation of that B split, but actually Happy's going to spot these players moving up Catwalk, and he does have Smiths below Cat to try and help him out if the, if the help is required, and indeed it's going to be as in comes Titan. A uh, Apex will go down straight away though, Happy with a great shot defensively, and that's going to slow the push down, but a trade is found as Sox tried to get himself in double doors, and that has created a huge opening for Titan. Yeah, and if they just can smoke up to spawn, they have a real good opening here onto the B site. Good position here for MBK behind the cart. MV is holding steady and they will spot the nades now. MBK's got to come out with some frags. He gets eliminated straight away. Immediately cast aside by Tyson, allowing a bomb plant pretty quickly. And there is a player on the lurk in mid his existence. Um, he could prove quite annoying. I think they spotted him now. And uh, we're going to see Envious try to deal with him. And oh, he just gets an extra kill. That is so painful. And that should actually just award the round here for the Titan. And they will break Envious straight away. Yeah, and Envious really need to try to save that open. Hopefully, both weapons. They will, this will be disastrous for them either way, though. Like, this is the worst po possible opening you can have on Dusty. You start a CT, you lose the pistol, then you win the first weapon round, and you, like, die a few people. Then you lose the round after that, so your economy is reset. The only thing going for Envas right now is that they managed to save those two guns. So what do they do with these two weapons? Because, I mean... They I, can't I think they're gonna go for the full buy. Okay. Okay, in comes the full buy indeed. Oh, this is a hot spot, though. They don't, ha they don't have any grenades. Maybe we should just try to smoke off mid and stack a site. Maybe have like leave one guy on B, have four people towards A. But uh, by the looks of it, the bomb is going towards B right now. Okay, it's getting up close. He wants to get some action here. The trade does come in, but that is an open B bomb site. And Titan once again should be able to win this round. So Envious looking at a spot where they should probably save again. Would you say, or what do you think is? Do you think they're good for a retake here? No, they they should save. Like, they can see if they can get a cheap frag if uh, some of the Titan player will overpeak, but they're probably not going to do that, so just go back towards long, which they have done, so solid play here from Envels. Uh, kind of a gambly play there from a NBK and Shocks peaking dark, especially since NBK only had a 5-7, maybe they did that to try to steal a weapon or something. But yeah, didn't really work out. It feels, feels like Existence has a really good read on Envy's. Like first the weapon round, where they just ran out straight of mid. Like they, it, like, right, like right. they knew, like oh, there, there's no one in mid in the beginning of the round. We can just run out there. And now, it seemed like they knew how they were gonna set up on this round as well. So maybe there's some mind games between these teams since they know each other so well. Yeah, I, do, you, do you reckon Existence is as uh, is he an avid demo watcher? I actually don't know, but I wouldn't be surprised. Mm. Like especially with Titan. Or sorry, Envils. Okay, well we're gonna see the uh, orb come out here for both teams still. And will we see the duel? Looks like the peak is gonna come in. Wow, Happy picked that shot up through the door. 
Now that's gonna actually, uh, Shulks is just gonna take the opportunity to go straight up mid. And this could be really strong right now because he's gonna get up the flank. I think Happy could be in trouble by double doors, but in comes Titan. We get a team kill and <laughs> that round lasted about 30 seconds and everyone died. That was really weird. Yeah, it was kind of an awkward peek there from Kenny. I think he saw two people cross, waited like one or two more seconds for the upper to peek. And then he didn't, and then like you could see that he has had started to strafe for like two tenths of a second when Happy peaked, so just really lucky timing there by Happy in the indoors. Alright, so we have Titan with a nice uh, advantage we see him on the on the rounds, but Happy's gonna pick up an opening kill again for his team. And Titan need a strategy now where they've got four players. Let's look for some picks. It's just getting worse here for them. Eric was the one to try to get some picks done. It's not happy. We've got a player pushed on A long here for MBS as the battle rages on towards shorts as they try to get into the A bomb site, get an opening. They've taken down Smith, but that is not enough if they want this A bomb site. And that is something that will be continually denied with these grenades by MBS. Kyoshima tossing in an extra one. But, uh, Titan just probably just going to go for picks now. They know they're probably not going to be able to win the round. So you, yeah, because it does just dropping down the city form. Just want to break in this economy. So let me just need to play against this by taking as safe trades as they can. And you know, Kenny is going to go for the moves through that smoke, and it's going to be happy with another frag. So Envious with a very, a two very convincing rounds. Yeah. And, uh, I think that's happened in this game that I want to point out is the importance of saving guns. Like, if Envas turns this around and win this game, I would say it's like al almost all only because they saved those two rifles for so long. Otherwise, if we were going to be forced to like two more ecos, the score would be like seven to one or something to Titan. So, just great usage of the money there for en from Envy. Yeah, it changes the, the, the position you're in so much. Because if you have those. If you don't have those rifles, maybe you have more pistols, so then you're playing more aggressively, so then Titan get a more standard kind of way to play against you. So having the guns to support with the, the pistols, you can then play normally, kind of. And that's actually a really big difference in dynamics. So it's so a pretty, pretty deep effect. And that forward smoke, they're going to know exactly what's up. Spray comes in from MBK with the M4 through that smoke. He's going to claim a couple kills. And uh, should be not too problematic here for Envious to hold on to this bomb site, but shocks will actually go down. So two frags already. Now next mission is to get that bomb planted, but will they be able to do it here? RPK is going to go over the top towards the window, looking to uh, get the plant now as his teammate did drop that bomb to him. Existence will take a position towards tunnels. Very doable round here for Titan as Envious go in, but that's a nice entry there by Kiyoshima gets both kills and the defuse will come in. Envious with another round, and then once again, they are looking pretty good despite losing two players there. Yeah, and I don't know. If, yeah, Titan will be able to buy this round because of the bomb plant, but still. Yeah, Envious, three easy rounds now in a row. And uh, opting for that single op setup. Let's see if Happy will try to challenge mid or if this is going to go for the 3A setup. Okay, well. It's been happy there's open rounds up that's already afforded an, a, a solid advantage in a multitude of rounds so far. Double up for e existing uh, actually going for the up as well. Used to be a pretty, pretty good upper back in the days. Sometimes we see glimpses of the past, remnants of what has been. As uh, we see also, yeah, he has almost getting caught there. He's actually got no armor. Wow, he actually makes that kill. Kind of crazy shocks didn't even land any bullets. That would have been the end of Kenny S probably without any armor there. And instead we have a nice start here for Titan. However, they've got a minute left to play with as they look for a, an option in here. And they've pushed a, mid, a man up mid actually as Kenny S, sorry, Existence goes back for the kill on the flanking player. And Envious have a great defense on the B-bomb side. That was the only thing that could have saved them. Now things look heavily in the advantage of Envious. Uh, there's only the in-game leader left. He was kind of on the lurk there, holding down the flank. And now he's the last man standing, looking for a play. But Happy is going to show him the AWP. And that's a tie game now, 5-5. Five to five, And then he's going to force another eco. MBK is just playing so great on the B side. Titan had a good opening there. I think they made the right choice, actually pushing into B. NBK was sitting completely in the open. Didn't use any nades. Like, he didn't have any backup either. And he managed to get three kills. So just a purely individual performance there for the saving Envious. Ouch. 
Gonna lose somebody straight away at the start of the round as well. And you're right, I mean, Envious, uh, they, again, they, they put MBK, he used to be the long man. But the thing is, the long man doesn't necessarily see a lot of action. So for some reason, maybe they decided, hey, MBK, we want to entrust you to a situation with more action. You're going to play B with Shock, so you're going to be the dedicated B man. And he's been, he's been doing a great job, just as you mentioned. And uh, I like the versatility on Shocks with the rifle as well to support him and to poke into middle. Pretty, pretty nice setup, and uh, looks like a clean round so far. Friendly is just Apex who remains. We'll get one. And CP, I love the M4, but the flash comes in. And uh, happy will win around six to, uh, six to five now for Envious. Five rounds in a row. Now, off again for Kenny S. Yes. He's not been able to really open things up for his team so far. And this is a map where Europa is going to do work. Yeah, maybe the Opera is a bit more important on the seed side, but still you want at least to get a few tags in mid, maybe if you're a good spawn, take a peek on long. And we haven't actually seen a single entry frag from Kenny. Oh, that could have been nasty there for Tyson, but on the entry of the long area, they all go one for one, which is definitely positive. And they have a pretty nice bit of out of control. They can, they can always uh, stick a player there, leave him there, build on it with uh, some pressure on Catwalk. And Envious, they've given up, uh, of course, any challenge into the long area. Instead, they're going to take Cat with a single player and play close with their B-guy towards mid. So Envious with some good positioning. Yeah, they know they saw like four people in long, so they can't be towards the B-tunnels in the next like 20 or 30 seconds. So not until now, the guy actually rotated back to B. If they just want to see if he can catch any T uh, CTs lurking around. Almost did there. Shox goes for the kill. He's going to get it against Apex. Now they are... Uh, uh, Titan are committed up a long. So it's going to get uh, flashed out. Oh, so such beautiful team play there. Only gets one kill though. So this is still on here for Titan. So you go in. He tags the existence, getting down to 24 HP, looking for that player. Shocks behind the crate on the bot side. Spray comes in from existence, gets the kill. There is limited time left. Here goes the jump from MBK. Trying to pull those shenanigans off here. Going to find the player behind the barrels. Can't quite get it done though. Both so weak at this point. MBK knows it. Oh my oh. god, what on earth was that? MBK looking for the next jump shot. The ridiculousness just continues on with this man as he looks to get some damage done. But Eric will get the kill and save the round there for Titan as the bomb will be protected after all. But that that P2, why would you even try Yeah, well, why, that would, he, why would he even shot? jump? Because he, uh, he could almost see him, like, without jumping. He could just, like, walk one step to the back there. And but maybe it, it, it worked, apparently. Yeah, maybe NBK knows something you don't, but like, I, I don't know why you even jump there. It's so crazy, but it's going to be ha happy that will open things up. And it could uh, uh, end up being the right round to lose for Envious. They've kicked this one off well. That said, Ayurak able to eliminate Kiyoshima straight away with a, an aggressive push in long. And I saw it, that the advantage Envious now had on the players has, has dropped away. Oh, and after killing that man, they've actually... They're looking to get out of long, and here's two players there, Happy and Smith, they both go down. And now Shox and MBK, the B-men, have to save the day. Now this will be really tough here for Shox. Is he even going to push out here? He's got MBK next to him. Now they're very close. Shox turns away, moves forwards, but just doesn't catch the right timing, and Apex gets the kill. MBK is really low now, and he's going to get eliminated from the back. And Envy okay. just get, um, getting demolished there on long. Envy else did a perfect uh, setup when he lost the play. Okay, we, we have one war <coughs> we are one player short. We're just going to put two players on long and give up uh, uh, catwalk. But uh, they had two people on long and they didn't get a single frag between them. So that was kind of strange. Yeah, it's, it's a play they made uh, earlier in this match as well. And it, and it won, in the, won in the round actually on the retake. So but, uh, they did not hold long down. Again, looking very passive at the moment. That's a good nade, actually. It's a chunk of damage to multiple play players. They might actually try to push long again, because it seems like they found Envy's weakness there. Flash over the top there for Kenny S to try to get rid of any close range players. And uh, he's going to back away again. So Titan being very, very passive on the picks so far. Gonna go for that A play again. Moving in towards long. They have oh well heavily outgunned there in long. 
is Kiyoshima as he looks to try to hold things down. He's got some support. Finally, Shocks comes in as, as uh, Smith, sorry, especially with the flashes as well to work with. And they will get multiple kills. Just Kenny Esu's left over. And MBK is going to shut down the back door. There is no escape. As Kenny S finds out, 4HP does go down 7 to 7. So, really, um, really back and forth. Although, kind of, Envy has got those five in a row. So, it's hard to really read this match. Yeah, I still feel like the momentum is with Envers, even though Titan did pick up two in a row there. If Envers gets this last round, I think they might be able to just steamroll them as T afterwards. They do have a very explosive T side. Now, split and pick here for Titan. Oh, looking to get maybe quickly out middle, perhaps. Yeah, at a pop flash setup, but actually I don't think any of this went through after all. They're going to find the duel against Apex, and he will outplay him. And that will be the frag. Titan. Your options here. Now, would it be given to them? Smith's going to back away after getting low. Three players left now for Titan as he, once again, can't even find anything anywhere. They're going to try to force their way out of middle. Kenyus will pick up a double. Looks for the next one, but MBK will once again deliver a kill, and it leave, leaves it all on to the Eric. The Sanin of Maniac, the coach of Titan. And a deagle comes out. No deagle execution today, though. Eric will take down Kiyoshima. And that's going to leave Happy and MBK left over. And they've got to be careful here because Eric is absolutely capable of this. MBK is just going to go for it. They want the spot on mid, and he's going to find it. Oh, he gets an excellent tag. One HP. Happy's got this, surely. And there it is. Does take the frag. Eight to seven, first half. And uh, Envy is definitely. I, th I feel like it was, it was much less of a struggle for them, despite it being so close. Yeah, it, it was because of the terrible opening. They lost the pistol and they got the money reset like straight away. Okay, so into the second half pistol. And uh, full B-Rush, it would seem. Envy is just going to go straight on in. They've done this, I think, every time I've seen them play Dust 2 recently. Just straight up B-Rush. And Titan looking to get some kills. They're doing quite well so far. Apex picks off Happy as well, so now it's down to a three on four with a few tags on these Envious players. The bomb not yet down and ticking. And Titan already knocking on both doors. Upper Dark and the uh, Tunnels. They're going to they're gonna try to retake the Tunnels together. Really smart play from Envious, but they are going to get out jeweled with these pistols. And in comes uh, MBK as the last man standing. He's got his back to the site. Looking for the first one-on-one. -on -one. That's how this starts. That's how it all begins. Find that first one. One versus one. And he can't get it quickly enough. And that's going to allow Kinius to come straight in and finish him off. And uh, Titan will win the pistol round. Yeah, yeah, crucial kill sir, from existence in the dark hallways. Envas did a perfect play there. They saw that Kiyoshima dinked the guy in dark. And they decided, okay, just let's just push towards dark. Maybe... The guy with the bomb could have dropped it towards the guys on B, but it's so hard uh, like that in the heat of the moment. But I think that was a great play from NVS, but uh, just pure individual performance there from existence stopping them. Three P90s yeah, here. I was from just going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what the P90 hype's about. And that's two as well. Yeah. It doesn't feel like the map where it's uh, optimal. We'll see, I guess. Now, NVS, they have the pistol armor by. This is where NVS is dangerous. They win this one. Titan in a very tough spot. Smith's just going to go close with the CZ. Looking for this headshot position. There's the first player. And he gets the headshot onto Eric. The trade is real, though, from Kenny S's P90. And the nades are raining in. It's going to be quite difficult here for Envious at this point with his P90s just stabbing away at them. And they will get the kills. Elevator straight up into the bomb site from Existence. And Kiyoshima's left alive with the scout. He's going to get cleaned up. One player dead for Titan. Apparently, the P triple P90 is. Uh, Pretty good. And that was actually a full buy from Envers, only getting one kill. So, once again, this half, this is a really bad start for them. Going for the full eco now. Yeah, five PT50s, and uh, Kiyoshima has found a way to stop time itself. Look at this, it's like Neo. <laughs> like into the into the, like bullet time. Like <laughs> it, it's like that moment from Trinity where you see the uh, doing like the flying crane kick or whatever. Pretty badass. I think he is still up there as well. <laughs> Kiyoshima. <laughs> yeah, like the way he's Even has holding the shades. his arms. He even has the shades. 
So, I mean, come on, he's complete for those moments. He needs a trench coat. Someone please add a trench coat to Kiyoshima. Look, someone's going right to now. help him right now. He's like, come on, come on, Kiyo. This, this is where <laughs> you, this is this, that spot where, like, you bait the AFK guy. You gotta bait him for a frag. I feel like the PT-50 is, is such an awesome pistol because it's, I feel like uh, it's, for $300, it's so cost efficient because if you if you kill one person, you get the it like you pay for itself, and then you do the ec economic damage. Do you remember when the C set was $300? Yeah, and it was, and it was super powerful <laughs> still. <laughs> and p people like didn't use it for a while as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then the thing is, the Tech Nine was buffed, and then people still didn't realize how like sick the Tech Nine was for like a long time, yeah. like a few months, because the C set was still so good. There's actually spots where the tech line was better still, even then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I wonder if there's just like a weapon now. Maybe the, the SIG. I would like people to see people using that more. It's pretty good. That's uh, Smith's running for the bomb site. GLHF. Okay, so yeah, yeah, the, the, the SIG Krieg, the, what is it, like SG, SSG 5, 5, 3, something? I, I, I just call it the Krieg. Yeah, it's that's why it's called in 1.6, the Krieg. It's the 4.6 if you buy it. Yeah, the 4.6. That, th that's how I remember it. It's $3,000 as well. Yeah, so it's, it's, three o three it's only more 300 more than the AK. Than the so. AK, yeah. And and it's really accurate. Yeah, like especially like really headshot. long distance. Like, let's say, uh, long on dust 2. Someone is on in the pit. And you have an AK, then it's like completely random if you can one-tap him. Yeah, because but of the but first bullet in accuracy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But the, the SIG is just completely straight doesn't matter how far you shoot. And Plus, it has you, you can zoom with it if you want to. Yeah. And it reloads faster as well. And it has, and it has 100% armor penetration. It's the only gun in the game with that. We're, we're like a salesman here trying yeah. to sell that. But I don't know. With the 100% armor penetration, does that mean that it will do more penetration damage through like metal doors and stuff? Because I don't, I, th I I don't have, think that I have no idea. I don't think works. so. I don't think that counts as armor. So no. I don't think so actually. But it's a pretty, good and also the, uh, the the spray with it is pretty good because like with the AK for the first like eight ten bullets, it's like you just pull straight down with the AK, so it's yeah. actually pretty easy. But with the with the Krieg, it's like it's pretty much the same, but it's just like a th little bit diagonal. I'm I'm pulling, yeah. yeah no, is that right? Do you, yeah, you pull down because I play with invert mouse, so yeah. like when I try to think about doing it, actually what I'm doing is like going like yeah. this. I, I, with thi the <laughs> I think one of the main reasons people doesn't uh, don't use it is because. Like you're so used with the recoil with the M4 and the AK, so you like know it, and you you buy the Sig, and you just like spray someone, and you don't you're not used with the recoil, and you just miss like 30 bullets, right. and it's like oh I'm just gonna buy the AK again. But maybe if you put in like 10 hours of DM with the Sig, maybe it like it would actually be but better yeah, than the AK, yeah. because I feel like it's only 300 dollars more, so there could be some maps and like where it's actually it's better. Maybe like train, because you want to like be able to swap between close combat and like really long, really yeah, yeah. long range, yeah. Yeah, it's true. It's actually true. So you can see Threat wants everyone to <laughs> use the use the Krieg. All right. So I think we're still waiting for an update as to uh, what's going on at the moment, uh, guys, with this match. It looked like Titan were moving into a position where they can like have a strong chance to win the game, actually. Yeah, actually, because they won the pistol round in the second half. And However, like they and they, s they survive with only one, like four guys still alive on the yeah. against the full buy of on the second round. Do you think that like uh, was it three or four P90s? Was it four? Three, three. Three. Yeah, maybe that was like a counter to the Tech Nine armor buy that they were expe expecting from Envils because it really feels like Titan is anti-stratting Envils right now. Yeah, and also the way that they position players, they gave up long, which is. Pretty smart because you can get pretty easily overwhelmed and isolated on long. Because there's, I mean, long is is you can isolate the pit player with the smoke onto the corner. You can isolate the uh, pretty much everyone on that side. You can sp splash over. It's like really random. Like you don't really have much as a CT. It's very hard to hold hold it down. Whereas uh, they just they just play the ranges even with P90s that ended up working because they can just consistently just keep spraying. I don't know why the P90s work specifically, but apparently they do. And everyone is using them. Like Flusher, I guess he was the first guy making it really popular. Yeah, especially like an overpass on the B site, was running around in the C2 water. Oh, it's yeah, a yeah. really popular position to That actually makes a lot of sense. The angles, yeah, and the ranges. Yeah, because, because you have to like constantly be moving. Mm. People usually like mold up there as well, so like you can never stand still. So it's it's actually a pretty good weapon. Yeah, it's pretty pretty good. Any other insights about weapons? Oh, about weapons that's not being used, that should be used? Potentially, yeah. 
So I mean, it's a SIG, and it's, there's not that many weapons. I mean, all the SMGs are basically used. And maybe it's like the auto shotgun, but it's still I like okay, I think it's too. Okay, I've, I've I think got, I've right got one for you. Yeah. So if a player, if there's a player out there, he's deciding between the MP9 and the MP7, how, how does he make the choice between the two? Well, uh, one is more oh, yeah, of, of, of course, it depends on the position, obviously. Mm -hmm. But like, if I would have like close, I knew that would like most likely I would get a close combat duel. I would use the MP9. But if it's like, I might actually have to rotate with this weapon. Then, then I will want the MP7. That's because it's cheaper and you'd, you'd essentially be using less bullets. It, it's and more, it has it's less bullets. Yeah, it's, it's more versa versatile. So like, if if I'm holding B or Mirage, let's say like, of course the MP. You're thinking, okay, I have an MP9. I'm just gonna play close in B apps. So the MP9 is obviously better, but you don't. You're not thinking about okay. It's more likely that I actually will have to retake A, mm. and that that I can do from C to spawn. I can do it from like many different angles, and then the MP7 would be much better. So, mm. like you really have to weigh in many different like options and factors when deciding between those. It, it actually is a big deal. Like yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. there's there's a spots where you with the MP9 you can make it pay itself back pretty easily, and there's a spot where you would actually more you want an SMG. But only for like one round almost. It feels like or one or two rounds max, and so that feels like very, very. Uh, you know, it, it depends on the map, the positions, and what the opponents are doing, and what the, what's always happening in the, in the match. Because there are lots of spots like that, especially if you like die. Because if you if you if if you die, you don't necessarily want to like rebuy into N M four straight away because that's gonna just like ruin your money. And so this like you know, let's say it's um the T's win the uh, sorry the T's lose the pistol. And then you, your team wins the second round against the deadline armor, but it's a spot where you died. So I f you're up against a complete eco. I feel like that's that's a good spot for an MP9. Yeah, exactly, because it's cheaper. It's then yeah, it's like it, it really backward. matters. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, um, and especially if they, yeah, yeah. I think yeah, that's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah. Especially if they didn't get the bomb down or something like that, it can still be some in some spots even used into the next round. Depends on your position, but yeah. Okay, I think we're live very shortly, guys. So we'll be jumping back into the game. I'm um, not sure what happened to Kiyoshima, but I guess if he's coming back... Oh, it's a power cut. Yeah, the power cut. Do you have m many That's power cuts in the Umeo? Uh, like never, I think. Like never? Like never. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> What's the best thing about Umeo? Umeo. Uh, That's where he's well from, by the way, guys. Where's, where, where is Umeo? Umeo is like uh, far up north in Sweden. Far up north in Sweden? Yeah, like... How north? Polar bears? Yeah, po polar bears. Penguins? Penguins, yeah, exactly. Nice. Do you have a pet penguin? Penguin is only in the South Pole, Dan. Really? <laughs> is that actually true? Yeah. I don't even know that. I don't even know that. <laughs> Someone's been watching. I need to watch. Well, I need to watch more Discovery Channel. All right, guys. Titan. Enemy is back in the match. Zero entertainment. They will fight, and blood will be shed as uh, Long is contested. So far, we're seeing more P90s put to work. And so far, Long is held pretty well by these CT players from Titan as they look for the bomber, who is stuck there. And uh, there is a man here from Envious who's made his way up onto the site. And it's going to be Smith, but he's uh, he needs to get his bomber mate onto that site somehow. How on earth is he going to pull that one off? In goes MDK looking to take down Kenny. Yes, it's not going to happen. Oh, yeah, Rick, sorry. And 11-8 uh, to 8 is going to be the score. So Titan with a lot of momentum now, lots of money, and, and the AWP on Kenny. Yes. Yeah, this is disastrous for MVS. They only managed to get two kills in the last two rounds they bought. So Titan being able to build an economy, Kenny S will be able to have that AWP many rounds to come. I think MVS is going to lose this game now. Okay, yeah, it's definitely very strong right now for Titan. They're set up very well. Ooh, Kenny S looking for those shots onto shocks. But he's going to back away from his forward position as he does not come out with a result. Envious buying just a little bit here to keep their money. Good for a buy in the following round and he reckon might have some trouble. He's got a lot of pistolers on his uh, on his position. He won't actually be able to take down one before the trade comes in and there's some nice ranges for Apex to play with from the A bomb site. So Titan kind of controlling the position quite well but Envious they want to get themselves up there quickly. Now can he have some on the angle? Can he miss another shot here? Happy able to take down Apex at range there with that tech nine. So three on three now here is Titan. Look for those angles over the crossover area and they will find one frag. Trades come in though. It is just angels for days, but that's not what Envious really want against the lineup of RPK and Kenny S with those big rifles. And uh, that will be the round there for Titan, but at least this time Envious got some damage off. Yeah, the most crucial kill of that round was Apex killing shocks on short because <coughs> as soon as Envious took long, 
Shox just ran up short and stayed there, and Apex pushed through the smoke and managed to kill him. If Shox would have won that duel, it means that Envas would have had gotten both short and long, so the round would have basically been over, but it's a nice frag there from Apex. It's a passive start here from Envas. We have two players towards B for Titan at the moment. Kenny's in mid. Now he may go back to crossover pretty soon. Hard to see. Catwalk now under control here for Envious. And right now, Kenny has to get to find an angle, but there is the flick. And Smith gets the better of him. Titan in trouble now as they lose uh, their all put. Now that still they can go towards B, can Envious. Alright, they just have to make the call here. They don't have anyone in tunnels, so it does make me feel like they are going to go for that B play. They've got the lurker potentially in top mid. Apex able to take down shocks from. A bit of an off angle there, and it's going to be a trade. It's going to help out the T's massively. MBK is going to keep the rush rolling on into that A bomb site as uh, the bomb will be planted for sure. And I think his teammate blocked that smoke there on Cats. So that would be a little bit annoying, but they should have their round here. I think Titan probably on that save. The yeah, Titan seemed really indecisive there after the loss, lost the first guy. Usually you want to react somehow when you lose an entry frag on Dust 2 SCT. Because you can't really spread out, but I think they were so afraid of Smiths just peeking the mid angle, so they didn't dare to rotate from B, and uh, that completely completely shot them off from the A side. Absolutely, it's going to be MDK looking for that final kill to existence. He's going to get it, and will they pick up the orb? Yes, they will. So double orb there for Envious now, and they can use that to harass and maybe get an early pick. And double orb for Titan as well. This is a good response from perhaps seeing the orb picked up on Death Cam to get the second themselves. Yeah, so double open both teams now, actually. Okay, just looking for the shot. No one peeking him, though. They have a fast player on Cat as well. Oh, is it shocks? It's probably shocks, isn't it? No, sorry, it's, it's Apex, rather. I'm trying to say, he is going to make his way up, gets the kill as well. Can he has an existence, all chiming in with one also. And uh, now it's just going to leave it up to Shox and Kishima. They don't have any map control though. They didn't get much done apart from a kill onto Apex, who did push all the way towards top mid. The bomb needs to be retrieved. So this is one of those really difficult rounds. Where we just have to try to figure out a play. You've got to take a risk. You've got to look for a shot. So Kishima will not make it in that one bullet there. So Titan with the 2 2 spread. Yeah. Guess NVS just want to go for the kills from this position, not, not much else they can do. Actually, if they can get RPK and deny existence from entering the site, they might actually have an opening here. So since we'll reposition though, so that will make, will make life a little bit more difficult. And RPK's position here is just really devilish. It's very difficult to deal with that position because he can actually just, just stay hidden for a long time and by the time you get to his position you're already concerned by a lot of different, uh, like new different angles. So it's very, very dangerous always. Now Shox is looking for perhaps a close player. What do you suspect? Oh, he's gonna go for the peak, and uh, Shox will take him straight on down. And Kyushima bullies existence away from the bomb site. Now the bomb can be planted in the nick of time. Great shot there from Kyushima. This round is now alive for Envious as the maze comes soaring in, and it will take down Shox as Kenny S now goes for the shot over in window. Oh, that is a no scope and a half there from Kenny S, and he'll get the defuse as well. That guy's reactions are something to be feared. Yeah, I thought. He was actually just gonna go down there and with an end in a 1 1 versus IREC, but that was. And in that distance as well, I feel like the no scope, like in that particular distance, would be really random, but it just seems like Kenny always hits those shots. I don't understand how he can be able to do so. This is the French magic. Kenny S, the man, the most wanted man in France. Oh my goodness, another astonishingly good flick from Kenny S. And now he's started to come alive, but existence as well. He's got some tricks up his sleeve as well with the AWP. And Titan looking very well positioned to take this map now because this is an overwhelming advantage to play from in this round. Yeah, like what do you do from this position? It's Titan have built a kind of a big economy and... Uh, Envels obviously like they can only only win this round if Titan make mistakes, so it's like you don't have like any good options from this position. They will need to take a big risk and hope to come out with a 
a frag. Pop flash into mid there. And that will be heard by the players towards B, I would believe. As Happy looks for a frag into CT. But we've got good defensive positioning. Apex playing a bit of an off angle there. This is a, that angle is so nice by Apex. It looks like he's standing in the mid, in the open. But he's just in a, in a spot which you wouldn't, your, your crosshair wouldn't naturally flick to as you're clearing out angles. And it's going to be Kenny Essus up on the car. He gets the flick so fast. And that is the end of Shocks. Sent straight to the bench. Yoshima as well. Ooh, doesn't go down there. Actually. But he will not miss a second time. Citizens and Apex finish off the round. Titan 14, Envious 9. And a flawless round there from Titan as well, building an even bigger bank now. So Eco time. Well, Envious could play for overtime. Do you think they? What do you think is wise here? Play for overtime or? Yeah, I would go for full the full buy. buy. Yeah. And but the hard thing is they can just keep challenging me now because they know they don't have any ops. And you see they are abusing this so oh hard, they're just nice. rushing up mid. So smart here from Titan. Oh, I think they were heard. And they are going to jet on back as they can't find any good angles. And they're running into players who were in dark here. This is absolute chaos. All the shots are rattled off here in middle where all the action is. Happy going to sprint up catwalk. Looking for the shots with the Tech 9. Won't find anything too quickly though. But we'll try to get the drop potentially into CT. Here he goes. They oh, are snaps onto Eric. Almost gets down Kenny S as well. This is looking like it could be happening here for Envious. Smoke goes down. Existence tries to find one through the smoke here. Happy gonna go rush straight on through. Great timing there from Happy. Oh, but Kenny S still delivering those, the no scopes. One HP on him. And MBK, the last man standing, with a minute left to play with. He can do absolutely anything right now. He's got the bomb. Kenny S is in such a weird spot. He's got one HP. The only thing that can save him right now is his, uh, his godlike reactions. And the thing is, if he zooms right now, MBK will hear him. MBK's going for the peak. MBK, ah, oh, there it is. Not much Kenny S can do from that spot. And Envious will win the round. But that was absolute madness there. Again, I love the idea, as you highlighted, from Titan to abuse the fact that no one could safely peak mid. As Titan had been showing that they would be peaking mid all the time. And Envious didn't have an AWP. And that's from something that they knew. Yeah, I mean, it's good to like abuse the fact and just keep picking mid, but rushing up mid when you know they're probably going to have tech knives is probably not a good idea. I would have just want them to, wanted them to just peak middle with one off. Now they went for double off, plus two people rushing as well. They, they like overdid it a bit there. And look at the setup here for Titan. They are weak on the, on the buy. Yeah, three pharmacists. No AWP also. That has been a, s a saving grace for them. But it looks like uh, Envious is walking into a trap now, since Titan has one extra guy there on A on Goose. And usually you don't expect them to be two people towards the site. You usually expect two people towards long, or one guy towards the spawn. Yeah, it's going to be a pretty hard task here for Kits Eric, who's been playing the pit position for Titan so far indeed. Now, he needs to deliver some kills here, at least a couple. As they go for the challenge, in they go now behind the flash. Erex, so he's just biding his time. There's the flash over from him. He gets actually a dink, but can't finish off the kill here. Gonna get challenged close. Another flash comes in for Erex to try to make the frags happen. Good support coming in here for him. He will finally go down though, but three on three situation as Titan have created a delay to get themselves onto that rotation. But Smith with a very timely frag onto Apex and Kiyoshima with a shutdown of RPK means that Titan are on the brink of losing this round and having no money to play with in the following one. And this could be the way back in for Envious. Yeah, but if the bomb goes down now, there's no way because like, Christian couldn't have a kit. And he got down to Smith as well, so... Yeah, gonna be an at least one eco here for Titan. And yeah, so this could very well go to even overtime. We do not have... draws. In face it, there must be a winner. Yeah, draws are the worst. Oh, no one won. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we didn't lose and no one won. <laughs> so sad, so sad. Okay. Envy is looking to get themselves, again, some free, easy, long control. And that is exactly what they're going to get. We have uh, a stack towards the B side and mid side of the map here from Titan. One man on catwalk is the only presence towards A that they have. And the only, only guy can, who can really hear anything towards long. And it will be easy, clean pickups here so far for Envious as they have used those superior weapons. And will we find even a single frag? And a TK there Just from one. From existence as well. But uh, won't, matter won't matter that much. Um, 
wouldn't be surprised if Titan actually opened another eco because it feels like their play is really dependent on the ops. Yeah, they're gonna for now going for another eco. This is smart. That's when they were shutting it down when they had orbs. That's that's how they got all the rounds. That is absolutely true. Gonna have Emius with the same rounds. Opening things up with some big control. Very another control and it will be two players going down here immediately for Titan as things look pretty good for Envious indeed. Cleaning up all the pistols, uh, at least the majority of them. However, Kenius will find himself an AWP. He looks like he wants to save this into the next round, but he's going to be challenged. Oh, that was so close. Shocks will live on to tell the tale, though. And Kenius knows he's going to get sorted from every spot. Really nice attempt there from Spitz to jump to force the leg, but he will go down in regardless. Kenius is going to go for the drop here. He can't easily go for the drop. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. Oh, Kenius oh, are so, so close. close. So close with all the shots. All there the as well. shots. Yeah. And even the Th one that shocks been, as well. Yeah, I was just wishing this is going to be like the, the clip of the year. Like, just imagine he, g he gets that Garen short, just jump up the ledge, just no scopes to get from spawn, and then he's in a 1v1. Kenny, yes. It would actually be doable. Yeah, I feel Kenny, yes, it would. Yeah. <laughs> doable, please. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Five AKs for Envious. The AWP on Kenny, yes. Will that double eco situation pay off for them? Now, we might have a challenge on long, at actually. In a long house here for Envious. And Yurik is trying to get some info there. He's trying to go in and oh there we go, he's completely blind, and that's gonna be it. Shocks will take the entry frag onto long. Apex is now under pressure as uh, as well as the uh, the guy that he's going to boost, or actually it's kinda yes, and he's gonna be boosted actually. It would and, seem. and the bomb is just gonna go walking to B now. It's all up on the guy defending B existence. Existence in the Amida looking for the frags, gets the first one, good damage to the second one, pulls out the pistol, can't get it done, there's the lurk from Happy, able to gun down Existence and Apex goes also back to the bench and it's just Kenny S who lives with that AWP, but that's all they need, if he can save the AWP, then a round can be won, they can, they can, they can make it happen, but then look like they are yeah, putting themselves in position to win now. Yeah, the, uh, the annoying part, if the... Uh you have an AWP like this, and the rest of your team is probably going to have like 3,000 or something, so you can't really do a full buy. They're probably going to buy anyway. Is that NVS is going to like predict that Kenny S is going to go for peaks. So, like, they're going to be so prepared for all the like, he's going to peak long, he's going to peak mid, he's going to like try to go into dark, Boost stuff like or that. Something. Yeah, exactly. So, they're going to be so ready for it that, that it's going to be so hard for Kenny S to do anything with those. So, we will next expect round. a super slow round from NVS then for next time. Yeah. But they're envious, so probably I'm probably wrong, and they're yeah. just gonna like rush B or something. Yeah, into Kenny S. <laughs> it's gonna be good. This is gonna be good. Okay. But he died, so nothing. Yeah. No, no, no orbs. It's, a, it's sad. I would have loved to have seen an orb here in the last round here for Titan, uh, with their with their full money, if, unless they unless they win the round, of course. Now, envious gonna continue the momentum. What's been working for them has been long, and you can see that Titan are stacking players towards long, actually trying to protect against the fast long control that has been basically killing them in multiple rounds. They've even pushed a guy, th th this is an awesome round for time, they're pushing Apex all the way around the back now because they had so many players in long. Oh, that was a sick flick from Happy, you've got to credit the man for that one and it's going to be the bomb plan on B. Now, Titan, what do they do here for it? They have to save, they have to go for the tie now. The overtime. And I wouldn't be surprised if Envers realize the situation. They and have no. money, right? I mean, they, they should be able to go for the kills. Yeah, exactly. This is... could be like match deciding if Invest go for, goes for these kills now. Because there's no money to rebuy, is there? Let's take a quick uh, look on the money. Yeah, and oh my god, they are screwed on money really poorly. Poorly off there. So first man spotted. Kenny has up by the A-bomb site as more players from Envious look for these frags. Shocks below. Flashed away. Great shot there by Kenny S. More attempts here on the lives of the Titan players, and they know they can invest everything into this because it's so crucial, and in fact, one player will go down. That does make a pretty big difference, but we'll still see uh, rifles dropped and uh, a buy put up by Titan that is decent. And we see a pause, but a uh, quick unpause, so a very, very short pause. Like two seconds. They wanted that extra piece <laughs> time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So double up here, Happy and Kiyoshima. I guess he's buying up triple up for the last, uh, spend all the money, yes. get a shot across the doors, and then switch out for the AKs. 
and they did actually tag existence and they were hoping that they would just get a straight up kill and it's so obvious actually Ooh, the dink comes in uh, there's the frag from rpk refrag by happy they want blood and that's something they won't be denied on the b-bomb site envious though this the uh, molotov will slow them down and the smoke as well gonna flash on through and then fall back behind it now one thing we saw that was cool from cloud nine in a spot like this is that they took a, they took a, both players from B and then walked into the upper tunnel, upper dark tunnel, and threw a smoke down to make it sound like they were re-smoking it when they were really pushing through it, which is very very cool. But we're gonna lose another player here for Titan. Envious uh, poised to try to take this round here with a numbers advantage, but they're all spread out. They're all really spread out. And the bomb is maybe peeking alone here. That would not be good. Shox needs to drop that and let's see if he's gonna peek. Oh, he's going to go with the peak and Apex will spot him and there goes the bomb so they know the info now. But it's three of them left and you can see Apex dropping in. Trying to make his position completely unknown. Happy on only 5 HP and double open up in this. It's actually not looking good for them. In goes Apex once again, picks up two more kills. And I don't know, that, that, that I mean you have an, a, a man advantage. I feel like Shox's peak there is like just really, really risky. Especially considering he's carrying the bomb. Yeah, absolutely. I don't I mean, actually think he realized they had a bomb. I, it must be it, because you yeah. would never do that otherwise, because it's such a big tell. Uh, but, I mean, st still, though, if they know they want they want to finish on the site, you have the numbers advantage. You just need... Like, when you're running to the A-bomb site there, you need to be able to trade onto it, basically. So it's kind of something that looks really like a m kind of minus EV spot there. Yeah, but we're going into overtime. It's uh, MR5, which... Uh, I myself prefer with 16k money. MR3, it's a bit more random. Let's see if Titan can use those double ops now. Interestingly, from Envious, they didn't get any ops here. They could have bought ops if they wanted. There's no limit to the money, really. And uh, Apex will pick up the first kill through the double doors. So, this double ops setup for Titan that was working so well for them. Um, they're already going to get the first frag. And money will not be an issue. And that's when we saw them play their best in, in regular time. Yeah, exactly, and uh, with that 16k start money, they can even rebuy double ops if they would lose this round, but it doesn't look like they are going to lose it. Ooh, nice buy existence. That takes down Kiyoshima. No one's dead just yet, and uh, Ruha Smith taking down Apex, that said. And looking to run through the fire. Finds himself the next tool, very brave from Smith, and in fact, MBK picks up the second kill immediately, so now this is a winnable round for him. Gonna smoke off the doors. Get the jump through, and he can get the plant now. He's heard nothing outside those doors, and this is a, it's a bit of a fake here, looking for that angle. And uh, they are now really close. First player, oh, MBK almost gets that. Looks for the peak from the doors, and they are playing it, so they know that he might be forced to go for the one-on-one -on -one here, so they just have to wait for that plant. Oh, no, maybe not. Kenny S goes for it, and MBK makes the clutch, takes down all the players, and wins the round for Envious. How did they win that round? I have no idea, but it was down, I think, to Smith going full Rambo through the flames. Gets both entries, and MBK polishes off one on the site as well. They didn't actually have to push him. They, he didn't do go for the plant sound. So exactly, yeah. They could have just waited for the plant sound still. Maybe they just felt forced because they used all the flashes, but uh, I feel like it's always, always stronger to wait for the plant sound because you know exactly where he is when he makes that sound. Fast push down cap for Apex there. And it will be a one for one. So, double up still going here for Titan. That was a ridiculous round, I gotta say. Happy though, he's pushed up really long. He's gonna get the frag onto Eric. Very, very nice angle there from Happy. Again, one of those kind of like off angles into the peak of his opponent. So, Titan under a lot of pressure. You can see how Genius is really afraid here. Wow, what, almost like a running shot over the top of that lip on the side of the bomb side to pick up the kill onto MBK. And now it's a three on three. They yeah, so the ad advantage is with them else right now. Yeah, especially after that kill. Bomb going down the B site. I didn't actually get how Kiyoshima just got into the B site there. I'm not sure either, but it's going to be uh, a pretty favorable situation here for Envious. And Kanias could try to go for some magic, but they have lost the uh, first round. And so uh, the double orb buys are kind of expensive. So it is actually possible if you're buying orbs to run out of money. Yeah, exactly, and uh, want to save that over, of course. Not, it's not going to be able to win a 1v3 with the bomb plant. 
And 2-0 already here from Envious. Let's see if Exism... I think Exism can buy an AWP now. Which, uh, he cannot buy it himself, but I reckon drop it for him. Oh, they're just opting for that single AWP play. Okay, so double AWP here on Envious instead. So they're the ones mixing it up with the orbs. We've got MBK going fast here towards... Uh, just while well, just dropping the bomb. Very regular spot to drop the bomb, actually. Probably one of the better spots to drop the bomb, to be honest, in the uh, beginning of the round. Yeah, so. it's very, like, it's not exposed from mid, but it's still close to mid, so we can go to both sides. Mm. So it's The other drop spot is, like, outside upper dark, which is kind of horrible, because you're kind of committed to B then. Get, yeah, exactly. You get in, like, horrible spots. But, uh, wow, Happy's going to take the pick onto Eurek. He's going to challenge, actually, for the angle. And we had the push coming in, so Long is still not under control here for Envious, but they have the A-bomb site taking control there, and that's going to force Apex into a spot which is rather uncomfortable here. He's going to get sprayed down by MBK at range, as it's just one player left existence, and Envious looking to claim yet another round here on their T side of overtime. And yeah, and uh, the economy of Titan is getting seriously low now. If Envious would win this round, it could actually be a 5-0. I think Iwerk is going to buy an AWP, yeah. Drop it to Kenny. Kenny S. He said deliver. Three orbs, auto sniper. Oh dear, this could be painful. Oh, there's one tag, there's a couple more tags onto existence, down to 45. But Kenny S is going to end happy. And can they make something happen here with the remainder? And it's going to be Shox, he does just walk in to B, picks up the kill, second entry from him as it's now an open B bomb site, the bomb is far away, but it's going to be hard for a time to actually challenge into this site, and it's looking really strong here for Envious on uh, this T side. Apex looking to go straight, and he's got 15 HP. Oh, I think, yeah, there it is. Shock spots the player, takes him down, and it's going to be a really rough spot here for the orbs that are remaining for time. To be honest, they need to save them, which is really horrible in an overtime to, to be in that spot. Yeah, saving guns two rounds in a row on overtime. That tells you it, it paints a pretty pretty accurate picture of what the, what the rounds are like. Force here now. Oh, I think he went for the jump there. Smith just caught him. And Eurek being hunted down. And they have so much money to do this. They probably all have 16k. As yeah, well. They know where he is now as well. <laughs> oh, oh, Sharks is. No, come on, you gotta try. You gotta try and get the knife there. But Sharks with the four kill just walked into B. Yeah. The weird thing, they're like, they spammed mid with auto sniper, so they knew that we're gonna have late, like, rotation to B. And we see um, yet five snipers now. Let's see if they can get that one. Oh my god. <laughs> Where he's, just, he's the one that gets tagged lowest again. I always say demoralizing when that happens. And I'm happy looking for the shot state. Gonna pick off RPK. This is looking like a Titan are gonna have to pick post, post five rounds on their T side. To, to actually get over time. Yeah, exactly. Again. Like, yeah, just to tie it. It's That's possible. rough. Apex. Apex. He might actually get position. Yeah, there it is. Takes down two players. Runs out of bullets for the third, but that is a good effort. But still, the problem is, is that the uh, there is a clear path onto the A site. Envious know it. They got a man up there, as we can see, in uh, shocks. And the bomb is going to go down relatively soon here. And the positioning is pretty decent here for Envious. As we can see, shocks going to just drop the existence straight away. It's happy. Here's one more player towards the that area. Nice flick there from Eric. He stands alone again against these players. And um, did we get the plant on top of the box there? Oh my god, is he gonna Look. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Kishima. This position. This okay. is the best position ever. <laughs> oh, actually works out perfectly. And we have five rounds there in a row on Envious's T side of overtime. And now Envious, they just need one round and boom, they, they, they're done. I wonder if like Hiroshima had lost like a 1v1 with someone Ninja diffused in a smoke and he was like, this time I'm gonna stand on the bomb. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no one's gonna go for the Ninja. Okay, are they, are they just gonna do it, aren't they? They're just gonna do it. They're just gonna run straight into, into B. No fear, comrades, no fear. 
And they are going to jump up onto the uh, the side, onto the crate. There is a Molotov going in there, doing some damage. Shox goes in close range. That's two players claimed by Envious as things get heating up, uh, things get heated here, sorry, in this B-bomb site. It's looking worse and worse here for Titan. Just one more player left, Apex, and he gets eliminated. Titan.